Yeah, they can look forward to introducing or reintroducing their kids, whether they're just young or special needs, to the wonderful world of ballet and the traditional classical holiday story of the Nutcracker. Last year it was a hit, this year set to be nothing less. Da, 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 da. Duh. Most people know exactly what Erica Portel, community engagement manager of the OKC Ballet, is singing. It's a classic that tells of the holiday season. Many have had the opportunity to enjoy some version of a live performance of the Nutcracker. It's become a tradition across the country, including here in Oklahoma City. In fact, the Nutcracker has been here for decades. So the Nutcracker has been running for 60 years in Oklahoma City. And now it runs differently for one day in the name of inclusivity. Uh, as an organization, we really passionately believe that everyone should have access to enjoy the Nutcracker. It's such a great part of a holiday tradition. Sensory Friendly is um, offered in partnership with Autism Oklahoma. This partnership allowing a special showing for people with sensory issues or disabilities, for children, and for the elderly community as well. The show makes some huge changes to accommodate those groups. What that means is the sound level is lowered. We don't have the live orchestra. We have a recording so we can lower the sound level. There's also adjustment made in the lighting. For example, in our typical Nutcracker in the second act, there's an entrance where there's some strobe light effect that has been removed and the lights in general have been softened. Also, for all in attendance on sensory night, movement in the theater is completely acceptable. We've also adjusted the rules for the theater, meaning you are welcome to come and go as you need to mid performance. The house lights are left on at a low level. Uh, patrons are encouraged to talk as needed, to use devices as needed, to use stems and fidgets. All pressure and stress to be quiet or to be still, null and void this night. They even have an area if breaks are needed. Uh, we also offer a quiet area for people to take a break from their performance and return as needed. And for the dancers, it's it's an honor to serve and provide art to those who might otherwise not get the chance to enjoy it. As a dancer, your goal is to impact as many people as possible with your art. And so to be able to reach people that previously have not had access to it is really an amazing experience. And in the end, a meeting of the performers and their grateful audience. Yes, we have several costume dancers that come out to the lobby and interact with the patrons and get pictures. Uh, that was definitely a highlight of our experience last year likely leaving a long-lasting impact of pure joy in sharing in the timeless showcase of the Nutcracker. <laughs>